Hello everyone. So finally Dispo2 app is released in App Store and everyone can access it. So it's not in beta anymore. And in this tutorial, I will just show you all the detailed overview of the Dispo app. So I explored it. I used it before in Dispo 1 version, but here I will just show you all the features, what are roles, how to take photos, uh, how to follow someone, how to follow roles, how to interact with other people, how to invite other people to your roles, how to manage account settings, change your usernames, profile pictures, delete accounts, create accounts, all of that just in one big video. So you have an idea what the Dispo app is all about and why it's super hyped and why potentially it can be a huge competitor to Instagram and Gen Z users can just switch from Instagram to Dispo app. So let's dive right into it. So here is Dispo app. Uh, actually it's Dispo version two. Uh, so first version of Dispo app was just a camera. Uh, and now it's very similar to some social media. Maybe it's even an alternative to Instagram. It was just released in the App Store today. And yeah, so the main feature is that you can take photos with really cool filters and uh, you need to wait until they are developing until 9, 9 a.m next day and then you get a notification that your photos are developed uh, it's super similar to disposable cameras so that's why the app is called dispo because it's shorter version of disposable camera so let's just go through the main features uh, how it works and why it's going viral so let's just open the app so here is the app uh, this is your home feed, which is consisting of roles. So roles basically are albums where you can save your photos. Uh, but in fact, this is your main tab. So this is where you can take photos with disposable camera. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, you can change the camera. You can enable flashlight or don't enable flashlight. So that's I think it's super important to enable it and then you can just take photos. So something like this. So after I took a photo, it's not immediately available. It will be available at 9 a.m. next day and I will receive a notification in the app. That's exactly how disposable cameras work. Then I can select where uh, my photos are saved. By default, they are saved to your library but also you can create your roles and just tap on the role and the photos will be saved to that role. So think of roles as like uh, specific albums. So how to create roles? Just tap on the plus icon in top right and then you can just name this role. So let's just name it fun. Uh, there is 32 characters limit by the way. And then you can just select uh, either private, so it means the role will be private or public, so it means the role will be available to everyone in their feeds. Uh, what this means, you can basically invite specific members who you are following, so I can for example invite David Dobrik. Then uh, what is this? This is just basically your label, so you can, if you have a lot of roles, you can distinguish which kind of role is it so let's just create private tap create and there you have it then it will just appear in your library and when you are making photos with the camera you can just select again that this role the, the photos will go to this role I think I'm not sure when you don't select any roles and photos just go to your uh, library here uh, maybe later you can move them to different roles but I'm just not sure about it I'm also learning the app so that is this part that's how you shoot uh, super cool photos with disposable like camera and they 
look really awesome and amazing it's uh it's something different it's not like instagram it's just yeah it has specific vibe uh, then you have your library tab where you can see all your basically photos and you see that they are developing then you can just select and manage them you can see your favorites saved you can search but this is your home feed this is your role so yeah as you can see we just created fun role so there you have it all the photos will be saved to this role so just to give you an idea this is david dobrik's album this is how the role looks like when the photos are developed so i can just tap and scroll i can like i can comment i can save specific photo or report it i can share it and i can i can comment i can also if i go to specific role i can follow it i can see who are the members in this role so that's kind of cool interactive part of it you not only saving these albums these roles but you can share it and like invite your friends to this and you can work together on a role and that's pretty cool so here are my roles i can search them i can see only my roles all roles or follow other people's roles so by the way so how to follow a role so you need to search for someone and then yeah uh, you can just follow that user so for example i can just follow and then i need to select the specific role and then tap follow so that's that and then this role will appear in my home feed um, also what is pretty cool is that i can go to specific profile and invite other people uh, so i invite like that Dobrik to my role from here i can also create a new role um, i can also if i don't like the person just block or report it here so if i go to report just in case this is what you will need to submit here so that is that that's how you follow someone that's how you follow the role uh, yep so i just explained to you that yeah you can invite someone so just go to specific role invite members and then you can just search for specific usernames people and invite them from here so here's for example not sure if that is jack dorsey yeah you i can delete role i can report role um then interesting feature is that another way to invite people to your role is uh by using this qr code so i can just share it and it will be something like this so just the image no link nothing and this is how you can invite people to your roles as well so after that to scan this qr code you just go to the bottom left tab tap on uh, scan and then you can either scan the code or scan from camera roll and then i can just select this specific photo and there you have it i'm redirected to the specific role so that's how i can join a role in the display app so pretty cool um you, i can also uh, a lot of people and i don't want any of them to more of them to join this role or something like that i can just easily reset reset this code here you can delete and report role i already told about it I can see role members by tapping this icon. I can see scoreboard, so I can see who posted the most photos to this role. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's that. So then, 
Uh, I'm not sure if you can get verified. So of course, like uh, that profile is verified. So for people who don't know, this is the founder of this app. So David is very popular YouTuber and he created this app and then it's kind of going viral. Uh, so you can see the followers here. I don't know actually what fire icon means and like this star icon. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then there is library tab. Then there is notifications. So here you will get notification when there are new uh, photos in the Dispo app. So when you took a photo and uh, usually the next day at 9 a.m. you will get this notification. And then here is your profile. So uh, yep. You can tap on edit profiles. This is how you reserve your username, your handle, display names. It's just your display name. I think there are no limitations how many times you can change your username, uh, change your display name. There are no requirements. Either it should be your real name or not, or just create your alias. For example, on Clubhouse, they stick to like legal names. And then here, here is your bio in the bottom part. And then just tap save. Also, you can update your profile picture from here. Uh, so that's that. You can invite people to Dispo app easily from this menu. And here is the quick tutorial. So yeah, just shoot and share photos to roles. They are all saved to a library. It will give you a shout when they are ready at 9 a.m. next day. Roles can be public or private and then just include friends. So that's the essence of the app. That's like the whole uh, tutorial. That's how you use it. You can, of course, edit your notifications here. Do you want to get notifications when these new photos are created? Do you want to see when someone likes, comments or follows? You can edit permissions to your camera, but you can disable camera permission. Then there is about Dispo and then there is support. So in case you blocked someone, this is where you unblock users. And in case you want to delete your Dispo account, I would suggest you to go through FAQ section. Tap start and then you can just select other and then just submit your request to support at dispo.fun. So that's how you contact support and that's uh, how you would probably ask them to delete your account if you want to delete your account and if you want to ask to erase your data or you're concerned about your privacy and all of that. So that's how you do it. You can also log out in the bottom right. Let's actually log out because I will show you how uh, uh, to create an account. I already did that. So this is the, how it looks like. And then you have three options. You can create your account with Apple, Snapchat or phone. Um, I already did that. So to log in, I just continue with Snapchat. Tap continue and I should be in the app, but basically that's the process, how you create your account. You just create the account, add your phone number, uh, confirm your uh, number via text message, reserve your username and that's it. You're inside of the app. You don't need any specific invites, nothing like that. Uh, it's not an invite only app. So there you have it. Here is your profile again. Uh, you can see your followers here you can see people who are following you can unfollow them from here and you can see all your roles basically your public roles again you can add it uh, i guess that's that's about it that's super basic overview of what you can do in the app of course i don't have my own roles developed yet 
because app was just updated in the app store so i'm still waiting but that is the idea what do you think will it go viral will it grow big will it become a competitor to instagram what do you think <laughs> Uh, so far looks pretty amazing and I can see a lot of screenshots on Twitter every day. People seem to like it a lot. So that is that. If you have any additional questions about this app, just leave them in the comments below. It's super interesting to see. Maybe I can help. Maybe other subscribers can help me. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, push that notification bell because i sometimes just do live streams about cool new apps and just tech news and also visit my website mrhack.io i also do some overviews about cool apps and software so if you want to become better at everyday apps i post a lot of tutorials and you can subscribe there so that's about that hope it was helpful and see you in the next videos